Hello. So I'm back. This time, instead of on my horse, I'm in my canoe on the mighty Gatineau River. And I know it's not quite as exciting, but anything could happen. There could be a tsunami, or there could be a uh, freshwater great white shark that comes out and just grabs the boat. Who knows? Anything's possible. Well, today I'm here to talk about uh, cleansing and cleansing diets. Today, more so than ever, we are exposed to toxins absolutely everywhere, including our grocery stores. In fact, now there's even an iPhone app that will tell you what, fo what foods to avoid while you're grocery shopping because they're so laden with toxins. Now, the toxins that we have found in food include carcinogens, hormone disruptors, neurotoxins, developmental and, uh, and reproductive toxins. And that's the stuff that we, we have just in our food. But every day, we're exposed to uh, PCBs, pesticides, herbicides, molds, fungus, phthalates. The list goes on and on. Like there's the joxins, there's asbestos, heavy metals. It, it just, it really doesn't ever end. But our bodies are actually adapted pretty well to deal with a lot of these toxins. In fact, water-soluble toxins are almost no trouble at all. What happens in that situation is your body is exposed to the toxin, the lymph system grabs onto it, and then it's transported through the liver and then out through the kidneys and Bob your uncle, the, the, the toxins are gone. But that's not quite how it works with the fat soluble toxins. So your lymph system can't deal with those toxins and so in order to protect your body from that toxin, then what it does is that it, it, uh, it encapsulates the toxin inside a fat cell. And these fat cells have been called obesogens. Now, Remember when I was talking about my truck and I was saying how if you want to improve your gas mileage then just changing uh, to a higher octane fuel might not work if your fuel filter is clogged. Well this is the same thing if you're trying to lose weight. Now you might want to um, lose weight by increasing your exercise and decreasing your calorie intake and that'll work for the fat cells that your body has previously stored as an energy surplus but it won't work for the fat cells that were created as obesogens. Those obesogens are there to protect you from the toxins, so they're not just gonna release these fat soluble toxins into your system, regardless of how much you uh, diet or exercise. So, with a lot of, there's a lot of cleansing diets out there, and some people think that, uh, that cleansing is just a matter of, of fasting and not eating for a few days. And that's, that's not the case at all. Or maybe uh, drinking a solution of vinegar and maple syrup or something. But what you need to do though is you need to make sure that on your fasting day, which is on your uh, cleansing day, which is a fasting day, that you're also getting the, enough nutrition that will support your body as it goes through the day. But what it also needs to do is it also needs to be able to bind to those fat soluble toxins to transform them from fat soluble into water soluble toxins. And by doing this, that allows your lymph system to take over again, grab hold of those now water-soluble toxins, and uh, take them in through the liver, clean them out, and flush them out through the kidneys, and, and you're good to go. So, uh, you really want to do your research when you're doing the cleanse, and make sure that uh, the, the supplements that you're taking on that cleansing day will be able to alter those fat-soluble toxins to water-soluble. <clears throat> Well, I got you. I'd also want to talk about another um, toxin that you have to deal with, that some people deal with, and that's called bisphenol A. And I think a lot of you have probably heard of that. It's found in hard uh, plastic water bottles, or well, hard plastic bottles. And what happens there is your body is uh, made up of, of a lot of connective tissue. And the connective tissue is made up of something called fibroblasts. Before a fibroblast becomes a fibroblast, a fibroblast, it's a pre fibroblasts okay now what scientists have found out is that when pre fibroblasts are exposed to bisphenol a instead of becoming connective tissue it actually becomes adipose tissue and as we know adipose tissue is fat so like I say there's just so many things like you try to do one thing to help and then you hurt something else so there you are you're drinking all this water because you know drinking water is good drinking water helps flush toxins but if you're drinking that water from a hard plastic bottle that has bisphenol A in it, you might be inadvertently changing some of your pre-fibroblasts into adipose tissue so that water you're drinking, instead of cleansing you, might actually be making you fat. Oh lordy, everything is just so confusing and complex. But 
that's why I'm here. I'm going to help you get through this mess of stuff. So, anyway, I think I might go for a swim now. So, we will see you in a couple of days. And we'll talk about something new and exciting. And in the meantime, check out that list uh, at the bottom here where I've uh, written out a bunch of the... Uh, What's those nasty, nasty um, toxins that you have to worry about? Wow, just got really sunny here. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.